Welcome everyone to Divinity Original Sin 2. I've always wanted to play this. I loved the first game, uh, played it a bit on the channel, and so really wanted to dive into this one. Uh, but haven't gotten around to it till now, and so now that we're playing, we get to do actually the definitive edition with all the latest and greatest improvements. Um, we're going to play, just dive right into the character creation here on classic mode, which as I understand it is the not too easy, not too hard level of difficulty, which hopefully is about right for us. Um, and we're going to do a custom character. There's all these pre-made characters you can play, um, but you can also meet these characters in the game and pick them up as part of your party. Um, so we're going we're gonna to have our main be kind of a custom we build out, and then once we get into the game, we'll actually get to meet all those, um, all those pre-made characters and learn their backstory and actually end up picking a few of them. There we go. Okay. So uh, we're going to be Will, <laughs> fittingly. Uh, human, adventurous, confident, flexible at times, even clever. Humans are dominant in the in Rivalon. They always play the hero in their own endless wars, even when they're the villains. Um, so we can go male or female here. We'll go male. Um, we'll customize this in a second, but we need to pick up build preset. Looks like we have two abilities here. Encourage, encourage allies around you, increasing their primary attributes. Looks like it's a special, does it for three turns, and I think I'm guessing that's like a cooldown. And then Dome of Protection. Create a magical field that restores magic and physical armor and increases elemental resistance on allies in an area. That's pretty good. Five turns, actually. And then Talents. And Genius gives you 5% bonus critical chance and 10% extra critical multiplier. And Thrifty gives you plus one to bartering, so maybe save some money. Um, and then we've got some presets here. Shadow Blade. Oh, look, they changed our, our build out, too. Shadowblade, a powerful assassin whose arsenal of both daggers and magic would terrify any enemy if they ever saw it coming. Wayfarer, um, survivalist and practicer, practitioner of magic. That's kind of cool. Witch, uh, bone, intimidating presence whose bone chilling powers terrify friend and foe alike. Chloroform, raised bloated corpse. Whoa, gnarly. And mosquito swarm, similar like necromancer. If I remember the first game, wizard. Well, wizard's pretty good, as always. Battle mage. Some mixture of melee, melee like warfare and arrow thurge. Melee and like wind magic. That's kind of cool. Cleric's good. Conjurer, summoning. Conjure a personal elemental that matches the ground surface it's summoned onto. Your incarnate can be buffed with infusions. Once you hit summoning ability level 10, a colossal incarnate champion will answer your summons. Dimensional bolt. Elemental Totem, that seems quite good. Enchanter, looks like this is water and air magic. Fighter, you know, fighter as a main could be quite good, but we could also probably pick up a fighter. Inquisitor, well, this looks gnarly. Battering Ram, rush forward in a straight line to a designated point, hitting all enemies in your path, and then Necromancer magic. That could be quite good too. Knight seems good. This is, this is all warfare. It's all warfare. Metamorph has polymorph. Whoa. Magnificent horns sprout from your forehead, making you see red. You can rush at your enemies and gore them. Chicken claw. Turn the target into a chicken. That's a pretty cool. Ranger. It's a different kind of bow than I think the one we saw before. So there's a lot of options here. Rogue. Also different than the assassin. Yeah, Shadowblade was the assassin. Okay, so it seems like, like Shadowblade's a hybrid of magic and rogue is just like pure melee. I liked the... I liked the Necromancer and I liked the Summoner, to be honest. Let's just look at both of these. Uh, Conjurer was called. I mean, that's pretty cool. And then, um, the Inquisitor was the Necromancer. I like Necromancer fighting. I mean, that looks pretty sick too. Let's do the Summoner. I feel like that might be, might be useful to hang back a little bit with this first guy. Um, and then we can pick up like a pure, no, actually maybe we want our first guy to be in combat because he'll be up front. So we would do the Inquisitor and that would give him some warfare, but then also some spells. This one looks like 
uh, helps you heal, which seems pretty good for someone up front. And Mosquito Swarm. Unleash a swarm of giant mosquitoes to suck the blood from your enemies, dealing damage and healing yourself. I like that. And he looks pretty cool. All right, we'll go with this. Um, all right, appearance. Can change our skin color here. Go for something like kind of a little tan. Looks good. Face. Oh, some gnarly faces. I mean, a necromancer seems like he should be kind of like dark and... Oh, but he's up front too, so the scar might be good. That's good. I feel like something like very white for the hair could be good or very black. Yeah, something like that offset the offset the look of our metallurgist, offset the look of all of our black clothing. Is there gonna be any facial hair here we like? Might not want any for this guy actually, weirdly. Oh. <laughs> Those kind of fit actually. Do the goatee. I'm ready. Try again. Better luck next time. You're not trying to escape, are you? Ah, nice try. You're not trying to escape, are you? I think I like the weirdly the warrior um warrior voice. Okay, preset. Uh, build preset inquisitor attributes strength intelligence constitution. That's probably good. Strength attributes. Panel. Okay, strength increases your damage with strength based weapons and skills and allows you to lift and carry heavier items. That sounds good. Um, one point is this an extra 5% damage. Finesse increases your damage with finesse based weapons. So, okay, this is clearly a strength thing. Intelligence probably helps with our spells. Constitution determines how much health you have. That's good. Memory affects your amount of memory slots which are required to learn skills. Okay, more powerful skills cost more memory slots. So, we're going to probably want more of that. And then wits. Okay, so we'll, we'll go with the preset here, but it's good to understand it. Um, abilities, warfare increases all physical damage you deal. Okay, that's good. We probably, if I remember the first game, need this for spells too. So Necromancer is our, um, our, our spell sort of setup. So okay, we've got two, Warfare and Necromancer, that fits perfectly then. And then uh, Telekinesis, allow you to move items telepathically. That seems quite useful. And bartering. Persuasion helps you convince characters. That could be good too. But we'll go with what they start. Skills. Oh, you can even change these. Battering Ram, Bloodsucker, and Mosquito Swarm. But we could also have Battle Stomp. Smash your weapon into the ground, knocking down non allied characters in front of you and hitting them for 20 to 21 physical damage. That actually seems quite good. I mean, this also does a knockdown with like a line, but throw your shield. It seems less, it requires that we have a shield there. It doesn't deal that much damage, although it bounces around, I guess. And then crippling blow, whoa. Increases, it receives a bonus from intelligence. So that loses the ability to do kind of like a knockdown on everyone, but that's a lot of, much more damage. So I think we should either do Battering Ram or Battle Stomp. Um, Battle Stomp has less cooldown. We'll keep the Battering Ram. I like the Battle Stomp though. It only goes in front of you. At least we'll keep the Battering Ram. If it were all around, that might tilt me over to thinking this is just like a good thing to have for once we get surrounded. But, And then from Necromancer ability, there's Decaying Touch. Set to Kang for two turns. I like this. Uh, I like the heal, and I like the heal attack. Raise a corpse. That's pretty cool. All right, we'll stick with basically what we were, what we were given. Um, talents. Executioner gives you two extra action points after dealing a kill, killing blow once per turn. That's kind of cool. Incompatible with the pawn. What is the pawn? One AP free movement, got it. It's a scoundrel ability. Um, I really remember liking the ability to talk to pets from the first game, so we are actually gonna go with that, pet pal. On our main, that just seems important. Tags, your origins, barbarian, jester, mystic, noble, outlaw, scholar, soldier. 
I see. You can pick two of these for your backstory. Barbarian, they call you a savage and animal. They don't know what it is like to need to fight tooth and claw just to survive. You do. Jester, quick with a quip and swift of song, you are an entertainer above all. You can disarm the public with your body tales and mesmerize them with midnight frights. Mystic, cracks in reality leads you to other times and places, some of the void, some of the gods. Your vision is not quite your own. Noble. Born to riches and luxury, you have an aristocratic bearing, eloquent speech, and the finest manners. So I think these affect like how characters interact with you. Outlaw, back alleys and rooftops, know well the tread of your boot. Scholar. Um, I feel like noble and scholar like kind of fit the look of this. It's like somehow kind of gotten into a little bit of dark magic, but let's go with those. And then instruments. I like that. I like the, the dark. Cool. Here we go. It all happened like I knew it would. A single drop of source magic. And like flies to honey, the monsters swarmed. The rebel panicked. The carnage began. And the magisters pointed their fingers at me. Just as I'd planned. I was shackled and collared and sent to Fort Joy. I'd come here to kill God Woken, but instead I became part of their story. Cool. All right, source muted. So, still a bit groggy, are we? Don't worry, the sedative will wear off soon enough. Easy now, no need to hurry. Get your bearings and report to me upstairs. All right, so we're kind of trapped in here, it looks like. So, it, it wasn't a dream after all. Gnarly. This reminds me kind of of the opening of um, Planescape Torment, if you want to go way back. Okay, welcome to Divinity Originals 2. Click anywhere on the ground. Yeah, sure, we got that. Um, and then what do we got here? We got inventory. Skills, crafting, map. Got it. Um, journal, actions. Okay, here's our abilities. Bloodsucker, battering ram, mosquito swarm, dome of protection, and encourage. Those were the human ones we got. Got a healing potion here, a resurrection scroll, and an electric discharge scroll. Uh, you can unlock your heart bar to move stuff. Cool, let's just move this over. And there's multiple, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. All right, similar to the first game, if I remember correctly. What do we got? Not a very chatty fellow, are you? <laughs> oh, I don't even remember them strapping me down. Well, we don't remember either, so. Oh, I don't even remember them strapping me down. Can you rotate? Yeah, you can here. Got it. What do we got? This again. Uh, no, I do not want to leave the tutorial deck. 
Oh, this is us. Right. Just got a cloth gown. Source collar. Cannot be unequipped. Set source muted. Unbreakable. Sturdy collar hums faintly with energy. Powerful magic swirls within. And some pants. All right. Anything else in here? Bucket helmet. Two physical armor. That's something. Got a backpack. Nothing in it. Put it up here. <laughs> uh, it says it knocks initiative off, so let's not. Let's not wear it for now. Got it. You can move these things if I remember now. When animals die, freight to or food. Eggs. Nice. Can light that candle. Great. Just picked up a. Did you expect a needle? <laughs> Just picked up a bucket or a basket. Hey, some gold. Nice. Shaking her fluffy coat, the sheep eyes you balefully. Her rectangular eyes like letterboxes to the void. With one sharp hoof, she kicks you right in the shin. So we should be able to talk to her. Fresh yeah. meat. <laughs> That's that pet nice. pal ability. Clump. Banded like a chicken's leg too. Uh, we could poke her and make fun of her. Uh, tell her we don't feel appreciate being like into a farm animal. You don't intend to take us. Let's let's poke her. That may so. But look at the flies. Ban wisdom. Flies know when a creature will die. And it's around your head they're buzzing, not mine. With two nice. shakes of her stumpy tail, the sheep turns away from you to peruse her hay filled manger. Nice. Alright, anything else we can grab in here? Another bucket. Well. Is there actually a needle in any of these haystacks? Did you expect a no. needle? I get in there. Ooh, a key. Cargo door key. This key looks old and rusty. May have just one use left in it. Mug of wine. Gold. So am I picking up these buckets, it looks like? Yes. Okay. Box. This box is big. We don't need that. Okay. Unlocked, maybe with that key. Cool. Oh. I'm gonna have to learn not to pick these boxes up. We don't want to carry them around because they're quite heavy. Oh, what am I getting? Letter. Ham, apple, old plate, sure. I'll take anything at this point. Probably cut that down later. Um, letter. What does it say? A firm note written in a firm hand. Orders from the guard steward important. It has come to my attention again that several of you are bypassing the cargo hold security measures by sliding boxes onto the plusher plates. Okay, well, that's what we're going to do. This will not do. The purpose of these measures is to require the presence of at least three magisters at a change of shift. Any deviation will result in at least one magister getting thrown overboard. Make sure it isn't you. All right, well. Uh, let me guess. These are the pressure plates. Cool. Ah, oh, that click. This floor plate triggered something. Got it. Can you go? Cool. All right. That works. Checked all that. What's, what do we got in here? Game saved. Oil applies slowed, ignoring magic armor. Oil barrel tilted over. You there. Come here. Hemoir. He is also source muted. Hey, hey, get me out of this cage and I'll make it worth your while. You in? I am carefully. Why is he in a cage in the first Your place? Your guess is as good as mine. Someone screamed loud as a banshee. After that, 
pure pandemonium. They never even told me what I was accused of. Just dragged me down here. Uh, I'll help a you. A gentleman among jesters, you are. Give that lever a pull, and I guarantee we'll both get something out of the deal. All right. Before you can even touch the lever, you hear a sniff and snort behind uh -oh. you as the snoring magister mumbles himself awake. One bloodshot eye opens, and then another. <sighs> Is my shift over? Are you here to relieve me? Wait, you're no magister. You're a sorcerer. What are you doing here, filthy scrounger? Choose your words carefully. My fists ache to meet a new face. Okay, uh, we could ignore him and pull the lever. That probably doesn't work very well. Tell him the truth. Salute him and say his superior sent you. He's to report to the upper deck. Tell him you're heard yelling coming from above. He needs to get up there. Or laugh and tell him one of the guards in the upper deck fell overboard. He should check it out. Well, I think we have constitutions. Let's do it that. Failed. A clever story. <laughs> I almost fell for it. <laughs> almost. Oh no. I should have known there'd be trouble. I don't have much in the way of weapons here, do I? He's not full health though. He's only got 15. Uh, mosquito swarm? Let's do it. Unleash a giant swarm a swarm of giant mosquitoes to suck the blood from your enemies, dealing seven to eight physical damage and healing yourself. Choose target. Alright, let's do this. Nice. And then do I just hit him? What does this do? Encourage uh or bloodsucker, which is just heal, and I'm actually full health for this for the moment. I mean I'm sure he'll attack me, but there we go. Kick. Ow. Okay, I guess he doesn't have a weapon either, so that's helpful. Nice. So much for a peaceful stroll. Can I heal myself here? Off the blood? Gross. Is it working? I'm picking where? Doesn't seem to actually be healing me. What am I doing wrong? Choose target. Oh, heal myself. Oh, can I heal multiple people? Target character. Cool. So I can actually heal other people too. That's huge. Laboratory key. Um, can I open this now? The prisoner's buoyant voice darkens as his eyes rest on yours. Ah, oh, freedom. Tastes better than wine. I'm nothing if not a man of my word. And I did give my word I'd set you free, lad. Say your prayers what? while you've breath to speak them. The hall's a white jerk. I don't really want to fight again, but alright. Ow! Gnarly. Alright. Courage doesn't seem great. I mean, can I move in next to him? That'll take two. One to move here out of the fire, and then let's do Mosquito Swarm. That heals me some. Let's turn this around here. I am on fire, which I really don't like. Um, let's attack him. I don't have enough action points. Flee combat, delay your turn, end turn with one action point left, or can I heal myself? I will heal myself. Ow. Okay, now it's my turn to hit you. And hopefully that blood helps me heal. Yeah, I'm healing a little with my attacks. I don't know if that's my healing ability or just a general. Hitting you, I guess. Ow. What would he have to gain by killing me? I need to keep my guard up. Heal up a little. 
He's got nothing on him, which makes sense because he was in a cell. How do I, why am I moving so weird here? There we go. Bowl? Sure. Very checked him, I guess. Open this one. Bowl as well. Electric discharge scroll, nice. Oh, that would have been good on the water. Items such as scrolls, grenades, and special arrows are automatically added to your hotbar. Got it. Let's put here, because I already have one. We got up here. The laboratory door, we got that key, didn't we? So. We got in here, ooh, a healing potion. Well, I don't want to be in there. Medical chest. What's this thing? Empty. Okay. Let's get that healing potion. There's like a couple healing potions in here, so that's kind of a good deal. For having done that fight to get the key. Uh, there's like poison or something there. Empty potion bottles, sure. Small magic armor potion. Move that over here. That could come in handy for a tough fight. Uh, applies damage, and then you could move these, right? That was like a way we would deal with this in the first game. Doesn't totally seem to have gotten rid of it. We could just go through it. Attack you. Cool. All right, we took a fair bit of damage there, but what is this? Okay. Actually, took quite a lot of damage here, which makes me a little nervous. Cards. And I'm back where I started. Huh. Nowhere to go but up. Okay, so I guess we do leave the tutorial deck then. Alright, let's do it. Yes. You've discovered two new chronicles plus L to view chronicles. This is our journal. Okay, troubled waters, get your bearings, then go to the upper deck. As sorcerers, we've been arrested by the Divine Order. The prison island of Fort Joy awakes. Okay, hot under the collar. Find someone to help you remove your source collar. I am bound by a magical collar that cannot be removed. Okay. Uh, will we escape the Merryweather? We're aboard the Merryweather on our way to the sorcerer colony of Fort Joy. We are told there's a murderer on board with us. Really? Ooh. Okay, Alexander's advisor, Dallas, noticed that the Void Walken are attracted to Source. Alexander quarantined the sorcerers. So I guess that's why we're going to Fort Joy, is that we're a sorcerer. The divine sacrifice did not buy peace. The rise of the Void Woken brought the world death, destruction, and fear. Lucian the Divine, champion of the gods, sacrificed himself to save Rivalon from the Void. His son, Alexander, now leads the divine order. What are the Magistars really up to? Led by Lucian's son, Everything Alexander. The dominant Magisters of the Divine do, Order maybe. are rounding up sorcerers for exile. Okay, so that's what's happening to us. Tome. There's some stuff over here. Order and Pestle. Cooking pot. Pot still. I think it's heavy. Chalice skull. More potion bottles. We're getting a lot of potion bottles here. No lesions, no trauma. <laughs> what am I grabbing? Empty. I did that. Blank sheet of paper. Hubert's Encyclopedia, Volume 30, Oil Moles. <laughs> okay. I have to read that. Gold cup. That sounds quite nice barrel. 
All right, let's come up here. Why, you're looking a bit more chipper. Yes. It looks like that collar fits you snugly enough. Nice bit of work, even if I do say so myself. There you are. Not too tight, I hope. The collar, I mean. Oh, not to worry. Every dog has to get used to its leash. In the meantime, your next stop will be Magister William. All passengers have to be registered in the ship's manifest, and he's the chap in charge of the logs. You'll find him on the other side of this deck, in the officer's quarters. So tags determine what options are available to you in the dialogue and how the world reacts to your party members. Okay, so we, we picked these. Uh, mentioned that there was a little accident in the cargo deck. The prisoner's dead. Lean in and whisper that the magister below deck suffered a fatal encounter. Uh, demand to know why she collared you. Muse that by the room's shape you can tell you're on a Lucian class frigate, but why? Noble, now that you're up, you'd like to bathe and die and tell her to ring for the servants. Uh, I'm going to demand to know why she collared us. Why, for my peace of mind, of course. Why don't you try casting one of those source spells of yours? See what happens. You recall great powers building inside you, the ones you commanded before your capture unleashed them, or she might be playing a trick. Don't do it. I'm going to go with oh, the trick. do go on. I won't hold right. it against you. <laughs> Promise. All right, we'll try it. magic surge inside you, boiling, bursting, then breaking, only to fade back into your soul like rain into the earth. All right. My, look at the concentration on your face. All will, but no result. There you have it. See? The collar's function. It neuters you of sorts. Makes you unable to cast source. For oh, your lovely. own peace of mind, of course. Yours and the whole world's. Alright. Muse that by the room's shape you can tell you're on a Lucian class frigate, but why? Why? Because we're at sea, of course, and have been for several days. Index fingers pressed to her lips. She pauses a moment to give you a scrutinizing gander. My word, you do seem a bit befuddled, don't you? Perhaps I was a bit too generous with that sedative. Oh, well, I'm sure you'll soon gather your wits. Most likely. Eventually. In the meantime, all you need to know is that we're en route to Fort Joy. A new life awaits, and if you're a particularly good boy, perhaps a cure as well. An end to source. For good. I'm going to tell her the Magister's dead. Let's see what happens. She frowns and peers at you closely, resting the back of one hand on your forehead and taking your pulse with the other. Hmm. Delusions such as these are rare, but not unheard of. I recommend a cup of mulled wine and another night's sleep. Just take it easy. All right. So I don't think I can look at that thing because it's red. So I think she'll get mad if I touch it. Although maybe I don't care if she gets mad. What's in the barrel? Wood chips. Oof. Well, I don't want that. It's hard to tell what's going to open and what's just going to pick up. So let's go through our inventory here real quick. Yeah, box we do not need. Um, wood chips, sure. Gold cup. Blank sheet of paper. Grotesque jar. Chalice skulls work a lot. Cooking pot could be useful. Mortar and pestle. Small tome. We have too long presumed Source is a virtuous part of civil society. Yet we need look no further into the past than the Source King's reign to understand the havoc such magics may wreck. One day another order must follow in the Source Hunter's footsteps. Sorcerers can, must, be muted. The new bottle of Source Colors provided by Vredeman is proving most effective. Okay. We've got some cards, potions, bowl. Alright. We already have the stern letter. Okay. What do we got in here? Good gods. There's, there's been a murder here. Mister. Behind the Magister, a blooded mass lies in a heap. Gore and limbs lie at odd angles. You can't make out a face amid the mess. Oh, gross. Well, let's take a look. There's been a murder. A sorcerer was killed by one of your own. Lucky you were busy getting your collar fitted at the time. Or you'll be a suspect like the rest of them. Waters is investigating. She'll figure out who did it. Always uh, does. Always does? This sort of thing happen often? Are you surprised? You're one of them. You know what sorcerers are capable of. Whoever did this found a way around their collar and killed a man. Small ones this time. Thank the gods. We'll find out who did it. One way or another. Hmm. A young magister stands pale and silent. Her knuckles whiten around her weapon as you pass. Interesting. 
All right, so someone killed. Oh, gross. Oh, but you know what? I can heal here. Look, it sucks up the blood when I heal. Broken. Oh, broken source collar. Interesting. Keep your hands where I can see them. Oh. Ugly sight, isn't Didn't it? Didn't like me touching that. Burns me up. This happened under our protection. We're extremely lucky. No void walk and follow the source that did this. Why are you letting me so close? I could she be the killer. She looks up at you with a mirthless smile. I was on duty in your room when the murder happened. You were asleep the whole time. Didn't even stir. You're one of the only indisputably innocent people on the ship. Unless you can commit murder in your sleep, of course. <laughs> um, that's a trick I, I don't know. I thought as much. Listen, I could use someone to keep their ears open among the passengers. Sometimes they clam up in front of a uniform. Bring me a good lead and I'll throw in a shiny gold coin for you. How about that? Um, laugh. She really thinks you'd help a magister, someone who's keeping you under lock Think and about key? about it. It's one of you who got killed, not one of us. We want to find who did it and bring them to just... Who's your real enemy here? Mm. You let me know if you hear anything. Whoever did this is dangerous. All right, but I'm not supposed to actually touch the body. Ooh, a poetry book. It seems as though there's a pattern in the blood flow. That can't be natural. A woman from Driftwood with nary a care offered me kisses that answered my prayer, accepted her gift, and then to my dismay, a spider she was and I her buffet. <laughs> Once feasting was over, she licked her red lips. I rose from the floor, still coming to grips. She thanked me for coming and bade her farewell. My prayer indeed answered, though still I did swell. Yes, this is a rare kind All right. of magic. I'll need to write to headquarters right away. Well, uh, I don't know if I want to go up yet. It's gold. The barrel. Just kind of like grab the rope. That thing's probably heavy. How do I get my gear? Why weren't you sick? <laughs> oh, I'm not suited for this. It's sea cow, not sea sheep. Can I have some of your wool? I haven't got any shoes, have you? People these days. <laughs> Bedroll. Use this to rest when there are no enemies nearby. Nice. Oh, yeah, look at that. Rest. Oh, wonderful. Rested. And it healed me up. Plus one strength, finesse, and intelligence for a few turns. That's cool. Why won't you sing? Uh, what was that thing we picked up? A rope? Oh, it's not even heavy. Okay, cool. Um, the poems in this book would make even the lustiest of dwarves blush. <laughs> what is it? What was down here? Did I miss something? I'm trying to concentrate. Why am I moving there? Sometimes I move faster, sometimes I move more slowly. I guess it depends how far I click. Weird. Yeah, that must be it. Okay. So if you're going a farther distance, you actually run. Metal crate. Another empty potion bottle. Another bedroll. An elf sits tucked away in a dark spot, lazily rolling dice onto the surface of a barrel. They sound like the dry cackling of an old witch. Snake eyes. She chuckles. I bet that's just what they'll look like. Ask if you may join her. So I think she's one of the pre-made characters. She shakes her head. Game for one, I'm afraid. Rolling dice, deciding fates. Hmm. Whose fate is she deciding? Don't worry, honey. It isn't yours. She looks you up and down with the merest tint of a coy smile on her lips. Never say never, though. <laughs> uh, if she can decide fates with dice, can she read my, the future in cow entrails as she well? She eyes you quite seriously. <laughs> Not the future, no. But I can read the past in flesh. One of the perks of being an elf, you see. I'm quite good at it, too. I could lick your arm and tell you how you spent the night before last. Shall I? Sure, go for it. She gives your arm a vigorous stroke of the tongue. Efficient, like a cat grooming. Hmm... You were in a cellar with other sorcerers. As everyone lay sleeping, you lay awake thinking of someone back home. A very special someone. You were reminiscing. <laughs> 
about the things you used to do together. That's exactly right. Of course it is. The truth's right there, skin deep. But don't you worry, darling. Your secret's safe with me. I don't lick and tell. All right, then. Um, cool. So what are these flags? Magister William, murder victim. Got it. So I need to, I was told to talk to Magister William to get registered, but I don't exactly feel like I need to rush that. Greasy key. Great. Uh, let's talk with... Oh, beer, beer's on the other side. Let's talk with... If a scruffy Benmez. man lounges against the wall with scarred arms folded. A sly smile playing on his face, he stares across at the Magister guarding him. Noticing you, he straightens and beckons for you to come closer. Watch your back, new fish. There's a murderer on board and I'd bet three months pay it's this trampy fan. Huh. Rolling his eyes at the Magister's warning, the man named Ifan beckons again. Uh, he dares to beckon you like a common servant. No, I'll, I'll go talk to him. He leans in and adjusts your collar with a sharp tug, balancing its weight so it no longer presses unpleasantly on your neck. He winks. Pinches less that way, right? Hocking a phlegmy gobbit in your general direction, the sullen Magister settles back to his task of glowering at Ifan. And now, you. Uh, ask if and why the Magister suspects him of murder. We used to know each other, more's the pity. I was his commander many, many, many moons ago. Isn't that right, Vic? Standing far back from Ifan, the tight-faced Magister draws one finger across his throat in an elaborate fashion, but says nothing. Ifan grins, flashing pointed white teeth. Same as he was at 14 years old. Only difference is somebody gave him a bigger sword and now he's Johnny Big Pants. Well, what'd you do to find yourself at the mercy of a Long subordinate? Story. Maybe I'll tell you about it in the joy. Away from interested parties. Alright, still curious about the murder. Did you do it? No. The dead man, Finn, is it? I'd no business with him. And I wouldn't put a man down without good reason. He glances over at Magister Victor, who's staring back at him with pointed intensity. Damn shame sheer annoyance isn't reason enough. <laughs> do you know anything about where we're going? The joy. I've heard a lot. Nothing good. No surprise there, since Bishop Alexander runs the show. Wonder if we'll get to meet the ringmaster himself. Uh... Yep, yeah, uh, no, I don't want to meet him. Not eager to bow before the great Bishop Alexander, son of the Divine himself. My sentiments exactly. But Vic here will blow a blood vessel if he hears you talking like that. What are you conspiring about over there? You! What's your name? Ah, oh, don't mind him. Vic's just got a bee in his bonnet. And that bee is me. Name! Uh, sure. You can know my name. Magister Victor looks at you suspiciously, then scrawls something illegible uh -oh. down in a tiny notebook. He scowls at you as he stows the notebook back in his voluminous robes. Away with you! At once! Ifan performs an elaborate pantomime of keeping quiet, one finger in front of his lips, as he leans back against the wall. <laughs> All right, let's talk I'm busy guy. watching for clues, sorcerer. Go take your sub story somewhere We're not. else. Okay, what do we got I'll down here? If you keep on. Beast and Gil. What? You one of them? A divine order loyal. They killed a sorcerer, you know. They'll hide the evidence well enough, but make no mistake. All right. A broad dwarf that. sits totally upright on the bench, eyes closed, palms face up on his knees. His beard is a cascade of meticulous plaits, each one braided through with golden medallions. He raises an eyebrow as you approach, but doesn't open his eyes. Listen up, boy. You hear that? Uh, what am I supposed to be hearing? The ship, of course. All right, let's listen. A wave of sound washes over you. The unintelligible chatter of your shipmates, the groaning of wood from floor to ceiling, the boom, crash, and crackle of waves around you, complaints from the sea itself. Hmm. And? Tell him the ship is moaning like a sick man. Sick as a leper's cat? From the state of it, I'd say she's being cared for by a bunch of beardless babes who never loved anyone but their own mums. Beardless babes. But there's more. Listen close. Alright, let's try. There now, just like that. Squeak! <laughs> Aha! 
His eyes snap open as his countenance breaks into an expression of joy. One great paw claps you on the back. The other catches you before you lose your footing. There. You heard it, didn't you? I knew it. I knew it. Aye, this is good news, boy. Good news. Um, what got him so excited? There was nothing more than a rat. No, you beautiful idiot. That wasn't any rat. It was the wheel. Squeaks whenever the helmsman jerks it clockwise, which means we're heading east. Pardon my beard. That means if we've been traveling for... Yes, only 10.34 nautical miles to Fort Joy. Uh, you must be a practiced sailor. What does the figure mean to you? Captain, actually. And that figure tells me we're getting close to the joy. Close to what lies beyond it, too. The dwarf leans back from the table and strokes his beard, gold medallions jingling merrily. His eyes roll over to you. That'll be all. Thank you kindly, boy. Um... Tell him if he's doing an escape plan we want in. He continues stroking his beard, a beatific smile on his lips, and doesn't acknowledge you anymore. All right. A uh, bunch of bed rolls. Oh, those are valuable. Okay. Take those. Uh, yeah, I'll take their beer. <laughs> Steal the beer from them. Don't mind me, guys. As soon as the Inquisitor gets here, we'll hang you right over the side of this ship with it. Well, well, what have we here? A fresh face in this, this stale guy. hell. Let's size you up, shall we? See if you'll do. The lizard looks you up and down, like a farmer would a fetching horse. All of a sudden, he grips you firmly by the chin, with the intent of inspecting your teeth. All right, let's humor him. Hmm. There's some discoloration, but I've seen worse. After all, one can't expect to find prime merchandise on a squalid little ship like this. Now then, to business. You will answer me three questions. The first one is this. Can you cook? Sure. Great cook. Ah, oh, music to my beleaguered stomach. On to the second question. Can you knit, weave, in short, uh, tailor? Yeah, sure. Oh, but to feel the caress of satin on my scarlet skin once more. A most satisfactory answer indeed. On then to my final query. Have you the ability to administer the upkeep of one's personal appearance? The delicate art of cosmetics is what I'm after. Sure, well, I mean, I'm a noble, so no stranger to combs, powders, and perfumes. The very basics, then. What? I suppose that's a start. So, three questions asked, three questions answered. Let's evaluate, shall we? As per your own testimony, you can cook, tailor, and groom. Well, that just about settles it. I offer you my sincerest congratulations. As of now, you are my slave. What? <laughs> uh, sure. I'll just tell him I'm, I'm going along. Of course you accept. Mine wasn't an offer, it was an order. Anyway, you may leave me for a moment. We'll go over your duties once we reach Fort Joy. Now shoot! All right. Red Prince, huh? I spent my life singing for my slaves to bring me my supper. Finer fare than boiled roots and rotten tubers, too. Meanwhile, the Magisters feast on honeyed meat behind this very wall. The indignity. That right? I always knew you'd turn up. I wanted to pick that up. Your kind always hung closest to our divine. Kitchen pot? That could be good. Well, you've got this wolf on a leash now. Name? Uh, who wants to know? The divine order wolf. Right. Well, you aren't here on my list. Scram, eh? We're trying to catch a killer here. What about your dog? Can I talk to you? <laughs> you! Sorcerer! Blood? No! Go! Oof. Oh, he's smelling for blood. Got it. There's nothing else I can make, Your Majesty. Turnips and water are all The elf is reading a volume of Cranley Hubert's famous encyclopedia. He looks up, his big round eyes scanning your body, absorbing every detail. He reaches out and takes your hand, turning it this way and that, examining it from every angle. Finally, he pinches your skin, gently tugging at it. Fascinating. 
He sits back and returns to his book, what? flicking quickly from page to page, completely oblivious to your presence. Uh, Risha, I'll do the same to him. Ruffle his hair. Hmm? What purpose did that serve? Was that a greeting? Was it... Oh, oh dear. I seem to have crossed some cultural taboo. How difficult. You have my apologies, human. Perhaps I should demand the same from those red-cloaked humans. They laid their hands on me more than once. Look at him curiously. You're not sure he understands what's happening. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Understanding is all rather relative. Take this book, for example. I understand all of it, and yet none of it makes sense. It is simultaneously too detailed and insufficient. I know the beginning of this tale and the end, but I am rather missing the middle. Tell me, what do you know of your... our world's history? Well, let's use our scholar here. Well, Cranley Hubert's work is generally seen as the authority, but you can recommend some histories of each race. Oh, please. I have no Ugh. interest in that. Your books are too full of it already. No, I want to know about the Celestial. I want to know about your gods. This text tells me that they created all creatures, but nothing of what came before. Where did these gods come from? Who are their people? Where are the others of their kind? Why are you so curious? The elf's face freezes for just a second before he waves his hand dismissively. Oh, it's just one of my idle curiosities. We mortals do like to consider these things, do we not? Now please, run along. I have a world to decide. We're gonna insist. No amount of pestering will get the elf to take his eyes off his book or respond to your questions. Weird. Uh, okay. It's a register, sir. Good, good. Magister Williams is just about done with the last passenger. You faring okay so far? Ask him if he actually cares. Of course I do. Seems void woke and dog your heels like a shadow. That's no way to live, is it? You'll see. We're gonna help you. You head on in now. Williams will get you short at fast. Hmm. I've seen more appetizing right. things coming out Ooh. of the and if she tries to run. Requisition. There's, there's nothing else I can make on your bed, Jonathan. Turnips and what water are, are all I was given. Note. Uh, pot and quill. Gold, I like that. Flower pot, probably quite heavy. Oh yeah, we're gonna grab all this stuff. Red cup snapper. She talking about the murder here? Well, we are loading up on valuable stuff. All right, what's going Standing on here? at the center of the room, you spot a sorcerer haughtily eyeing a pair of nervous-looking magisters. They keep their crossbow trained upon her as she's being interrogated by an officer. So you admit it then? You murdered that poor fella? Yes, I did. But of course, so she's from the, the intro beginning. video. She turns her head and looks you straight in the eye. There are others whose lives must end. Good God! The woman's mad. You there, sorcerer? Go and fetch Magister Siwan. We need to do more than collar this maniac. We need to shackle her hands and feet. Uh, let's ask her what she, the hell she was talking about. It means your journey draws to a close. Do stick around for its finale, though, because... She reaches for her collar Whoa. and simply removes it. I'm just about to create a scene. I wish I had a way to take my collar off. Some do men, quickly! If she casts source, the Voidwoken will come. They'll end us all. She smiles with wicked satisfaction. Precisely. Okay. Whoa. Knocked down and she disappeared. Gnarly. What? What's happened? Uh, yeah, we've been doing this. Alright, there's some journal stuff here. Um, troubled waters. Sorcerer slipped her source collar and triggered a huge explosion. We have to escape. Yeah, that makes sense. I see we were we were checking through these. So it's like quests. Find a weapon. It's not safe here. We should arm ourselves. Yeah, no kidding. Um, let's see what they've got. Pants. That's good. Fire arrowhead. Sure. Gold. Sure. All right. Well, let's put the pants on. Let's 
slightly better than what we had before. Oh, look at those. Nice. They look better, though. That's the important part. What are these? Chest with confiscated goods. <gasps> My first bow. Improvised wand, makeshift club. I feel like we need makeshift club. Where does the club go? Oh, here. New skill, all in. Uh, perform a heavy attack. Got it. Even just being able to do an attack here will be nice. Uh, we have too much stuff. Is that what that is? Okay, what's heavy? Uh, water barrel. Kitchen pot we should keep. There was a way to, s yes, sort by weight. Flower pot, also heavy. Bottle of wine's heavy, but valuable. Bunch of empty cups. I don't need more cards. What do we have in here? Locked. How do we get out of here? Do we go up? Not long before this thing snaps into splinters. The hound pulls desperately at his snout. It winces as it draws blood from its wet black nose What's and wrong? continues scratching. The dog notices you for the first time and snarls. The hairs on its back prickling uh -oh. as it looks. Oh, it sneezes suddenly and pauses at its nose once more. Can't smell. Can't breathe. Too much sauce. Too much. Weird. Too Please, I can stop. Oh. Tell the dog you're not the one who did this. You'd stop it if you could. The dog whines and continues pawing at its nose. Okay. Well, not much I can do about that. Sharp rock. Sure. Poison arrow. Special arrows. Yep, I remember that from the original game. What we got here? Gold. Nice. Damn. That doesn't bode well. Onwards and upwards. Oh, I want to get in here. Can I? Yeah. Yeah, we can attack it. Let's go. Thank the gods. By divine grace, who was that howling? He eyes the collar circling your neck oh. and reaches a hand towards his blade. Another sorcerer! Uh, motion of the destruction around you. What's going on here? What has he seen? Like you don't know. Mutiny. Did that witch fix your collar too? Tell him there's no mutiny. You almost died at this woman's hands. Man. Your lies. We cannot... Persuade, can we? I guess we don't have persuasion, so it makes sense. Um, can I battering ram? Target is too far. Battering ram you then. And then we'll do mosquito swarm on you. Uh oh, he uses shields up. Ow. Ow. Uh, do we just hit him? How about that all in? Let's do all in. Oh, we had armor. Not. Oh, and it used extra. Did it use extra attack points to do it? Alright, let's heal. That's annoying, though. He's getting another turn. He's gonna hit me. Ow. All right, dude, we'll just hit you like regular. Oh, miss? What? Ow. Come on. Nice. All right, we can use the bedroll to heal, which is good. What we got here? Repair hammer, a hatchet. It's not as good, actually, as the uh, Club and a healing potion, which is great. A journal of someone's. A letter. A bust of Alexander. Imposing and imperious, the sculpted form of Bishop Alexander of the Divine Order seems to have been caved in a carved in a hurry by trembling hands. That's funny. Bound tome. 
Yeah, sure. We'll grab these. And you thought Rivalon was flat. <laughs> Shabby letter. Okay, we're gonna have to read all these things at some point. Resurrection scroll, nice. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. And nothing. Great. All right, what's over here? See, look at that gold cup we got for our troubles. Totally worth it. Forgery of a painting? Oh my gosh. We just took that painting. Uh, we came through there. Let's go Damn through it. here. Need to get off this wreck and quick. Too much to carry. Why don't we just pick up this giant. Yeah. Oh, there's magisters here. It's like, should I be pickpocketing them? I guess so. Mittens. Like help these guys? Oh, they're on the they're dead. It's me screaming. Got it. Well, I'm gonna be patient, even though it feels like I should rush. Just because we can grab all the stuff, that would be nice. Oh, there's someone there. Skull marked door. The marking on the door was painted recently, judging from its pungent scent. You recognize the symbol immediately for what it is. A warning of death fog within. Death fog? You press your palm against the door to open it. The wood feels neither cold nor warm, but simply gray. The color drains from your hand, and you are left numb. All right, I guess I will avoid that door, it seems. Let's come around this way. through the door and are suddenly Whoa. face to face with an undead his skull is bizarrely angular and a glorious jewel sits in the middle of his forehead the skeleton is quickly leafing through a volume of Cranley Hubert's oh, famous this encyclopedia guy. muttering to himself no 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 what damn fools record knowledge on a pulped tree it catches fire it turns into must when wet it cannot even resist acid no wonder they're so bloody ignorant. The skeleton looks up and notices you for the first time. Oh, it's you. Shouldn't you be running and screaming or some such? There's something familiar about the way he holds that book. The skeleton groans and looks back to his book, frantically flipping from page to page. Yes, indeed. It's the look of someone that wants to read the bloody book he's holding. Now, if you're really quite finished, I believe you have lifeboats to flee to. That's it, the elf. He's the elf that was reading the book. Please, I was no more an elf than you are those rags you're wearing. I had a mask, rather ingeniously designed, which allowed me to take that primitive form. A mask that was stolen by that damned witch after her little scene. Still, huh. she'll drown with the rest of these fools, and I will simply pluck my mask from her cold, dead hands. I could say that's heartless, but no, that seems quite sensible. Indeed. Just as sensible as getting off a sinking ship and leaving a fellow to his business. I would say good day, but it seems quite likely that you're about to die a rather terrible death, so... The skeleton shrugs casually <laughs> and returns <laughs> this awesome. to his book. Uh -huh. It's funny. Alright, so there's nowhere to go there. So what about the other side? Go up. Unless we want to try that fog, but I'm guessing not. Whoa. Oh, no. What the? I mean, the Chronicle pops back up. Can I read it? Yeah, okay. We armed ourselves with some basic weapons. Uh, get rid of this collar. A gigantic void woke and attacked the ship. So attracted by the source. So magic, I guess, draws these monsters. Okay. Uh, all right, well. The battering ram down here. All 
All right, and then maybe the mosquito swarm. Uh, we'll go for this one. Gross! Wow. My turn. I could blood sucker to heal. I don't have any allies to encourage. I don't have a lot of options. I basically just like charge and attack and do that uh, mosquito swarm every couple turns. Ow. Ow. Well, we are going to do the mosquitoes, uh, the um, heal. Not enough. Ow. Viscous Voidling. Raw Lumpy Giblets. Ugh. Gross. Um, can I heal? I can. Okay. So it seems like you can basically heal whenever you're just not in combat. Which is pretty good. Can I use this here? up here. Is the rain not doing more? Magister Knight, Captain Kawan, they probably have good stuff. Alright, I'm just gonna take it. Ow. Four gold. Finding Radiant Scroll is at least something. Alright, let's go back down. Ow, 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 ow. What else do we got? A lifeboat. That means there's still a chance. Oh, nice. Shut your trap, kid. Children and dwarfs first, just like the old stories say. The dwarf yanks at one of the nearby ropes to no avail. You said there were other people down there. We. We need to help them! You see those tentacles, kid? It's time for getting the hell out of here! Uh, the ship trembles beneath your feet, but the kid's right. Say you'll go back to the lower deck and look for survivors. Thank you, thank you! There's a ladder right over there. You can go straight down. You're gonna be the death of us, you hear? Alright, where's the... Here we go. Yep, let's go look. Uh, oh, this is all the way down to that original. Oh, I can check the body now. Chunk of flesh. Found live. Elves can eat limbs to experience the memories of the person the limb once belonged to. That's insane. Oh, there's these magisters. Gold. Magister waters. I can take a broken source collar too. Okay. What do we got here? The Magister lies on the floor, unconscious and bleeding from a dire-looking wound. Oh, she had this book I couldn't look at before, right? Some crimes, like murdering or stealing, leave a crime scene. Even if nobody saw you commit the crime, they might become suspicious and start investigating. And I got an achievement called Thief. So I guess I wasn't supposed to take that. Whoa! Wait! Void Woken! Oh, so everyone's trying to escape. Okay, so we are actually being helpful by coming down here. Um, I don't need bed rolls. Uh, let's do battering ram. So maybe I can hit two. Yeah. Nice. And then let's do mosquito swarm. We'll do it on that guy because he's not knocked down. Two beardless bugs would sink the ship on my watch. Nice beast. Petrified him. Cool. Cool. Okay, so that guy goes to him. Great. Hmm. Let the games begin. Backlash. Backstab. Okay, so she's like a rogue of some sort. They who are about to triumph. Fortify. 
Oh, cool. He's like a rock. Glory is mine. Oh, let's have cocktail. Nice. I thought Void Woken was supposed to be scary. I don't know that we talked to her. I'll yield to none. I've faced worse. Oh, this guy we definitely talked to. Shocking Kutch. Ow. Flush Sacrifice, that seems like it's a Necromancer thing too. Whoa. We're telling where there might be more. We need to move. Oh, okay. We're all done. We make a pretty good team. Let's not tarry. This old tub is about to burst. All right, let's go grab some of this stuff. So she didn't make it. All right, I feel like we were already back there. And we're not getting much from these guys. Okay, let's go. I hear something. It's it's Magister Siwa. Is there anything we can she do? tries to speak, but can only gape as she clutches her neck, trying to stem the bleeding of a gushing wound. Look around for some way to help with her. With jagged movements, she raises her clenched fist and holds out a length of cloth soaked with some kind of strong smelling tincture. Take the cloth and hold it to the wound. Blood quickly soaks through the cloth. Magister Siwan's mouth opens and closes, her eyes wide in terror. Let's do a tourniquet. Blood pours out from around the bandage. Magister Siwan reaches out to you, her hand flailing. This isn't working well. Uh, hold it tighter to the wound. It's working. Hey. The pressure is stemming the flow of blood. Siwan clutches your arm, her eyes locked with yours. Something within the ship snaps. The floorboards shudder. Continue holding. Siwan struggles to her feet, clinging to you tightly. The ship lets out a deep groan, then cracks. Oh, maybe this is a mistake. Whoa. Tripping the ship apart. Okay. Honorable Dallas, we lost a ship sailing sorcerer prisoners to Fort Joy. We assume some escaped and broke their collars. Their vile magic lured the Voidwoken. All who were aboard are presumed dead. That is the wrong Yours presumption. faithfully into eternity. High Judge Orivan. Loading Fort Joy. All right, the chronicle continues and a chronicle begins. So, chapter one, chapter two. Those void woke and made short bloody work of the ship. Am I the lone survivor? Cool. Seems someone, something wanted me alive. Cool. All right, let's take a break here. When we come back, we'll figure out what the uh, next steps of our chapter are, and we'll guess we'll explore this beach. Um, pretty cool. Reminds me a lot of the first game. Uh, though, uh, definitely seems to have a little more character and backstory to stuff. I feel like in the first game, you couldn't even pick those pre-made characters. But uh, yeah, very cool so far. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.